Why earn dot finance is one thing really well. It automates yield earning. It started out as a yield bouncer called iEarn.Finance, which automatically moved stable coins like DAI from one lending protocol to the next across Compound, Didex, Ava, and more to maximize lending yield and to ensure that you didn't have to. Then Andre, the man, innovated the idea of bringing this yield bouncing strategy into a stablecoin pool in Curve. Now anyone could deposit into the Curve Y pool and their idle stablecoins would be lent across pools to earn lending interest while accruing trading fees as an LP when trade is swapped between stablecoins in the Curve Y pool. And this is one of the earliest examples of yield farming, earning multiple forms of yield thanks to stacked incentives connecting multiple DeFi applications in what's known as Money Legos. But then in the summer of 2020, Andre unveiled a new and rebranded Finance to the world. He said he would decentralize control of Finance by distributing 30,000 Wi-Fi tokens, which he said had no value, even though the market thought very differently. Wyand.finance would continue on this mission of automating yield earning with a concept he called Vault to make it as simple as depositing tokens to earn yield using a series of sophisticated strategies engineered by Andre and future Wyand.finance developers. The 30,000 Wi Fi tokens will be distributed over seven or maybe 10 days of yield farming where one could stake their Curve Y Pool LP token to earn more Wi Fi. Additional pools required staking, providing liquidity in Balancer, and staking the LP token to bootstrap liquidity for this newly minted Wi-Fi token. Now, Wi-Fi, which is Wyand.Finance's governance token, was ultimately distributed only to users who provided liquidity, with no pre-mine, no pre-sale, and no allocation to the team. Wi-Fi set the standard for launching the most decentralized token, the so-called fair launch. Although most of the ecosystem was built by Andre Konya himself, control of Wi-Fi was transferred to a multi-sig wallet which requires six out of nine participants to agree on changes. Now the end result is one of the most epic stories in DeFi which we've covered on this channel. Wi-Fi became the fastest asset to grow to over a billion dollars in market cap in history, including stocks and other asset classes. Now, thankfully, the real value imparted by Wyand at Finance through its Y Vault suddenly enabled users to deposit tokens like DAI, USDC, ETH, and even other interest earning tokens like A Link. And additionally, Y Vaults were devised to enable depositing popular LP tokens like the Curve Y Pool and Curve SBTC Pool. The key takeaway in all of this is that it leveled the playing field for DeFi newcomers and DeFi pros, and that's powerful. That's what DeFi is supposed to stand for, creating a new and better finance system where anyone can participate regardless of how much or how little money they have. Wyand.Finance took the power of having a quant trading firm and automated it on Ethereum. You'll find Wyand.Finance is continually releasing new Y vaults as they're on the cusp of releasing new version 2 vaults. Take a look at Wyand.Finance forward slash vaults or zap into a Y vault with Zapper. Fi. You've been watching DeFi 101, do be sure and check out the other videos in this series and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the new videos as they drop. And above all, stay safe out there.